Increasing your cadence can reduce the risk of running injuries, period. Doesn't matter if you think your current cadence gives you the best performance or it feels the most comfortable. So by the end of this video, you should be able to tell if your running cadence is too low for you and I'll give you a step-by-step -step protocol to improve it. This is based on the very latest research. I didn't just pull this out of my I said ha, why do you have to beat this? Ha ho. Salut, c'est Stéphane from Safe Motions. Cadence is one of the many factors that you can manipulate to improve your running technique. But changing just that can positively impact several other things, meaning increasing your cadence can fix several things at the same time, like heel striking or, big word, vertical oscillation. Among the other things, the higher cadence can improve is the impact forces on the bottom of your foot, the angle at which you strike the floor, the load on the Achilles tendon, and the mechanical energy absorbed by the knee. All of these factors can contribute to running injuries. However, your running cadence is also influenced by your weight, your height, the speed at which you run, and even your footwear. So, should you change your cadence? Here's what I wanted to do to find out. You're going to go for an easy mid-distance run. It could be on road, it could be on trail, wherever you prefer to run. Now, you should go for a mid-distance. If you're used to running 10 kilometers, for instance, just run five kilometers. That's important because on longer distances, your cadence will slow down. Record your running cadence with your favorite method. It could be on your sports watch. It could be just counting the number of times your feet impact the floor and if it's below 170 steps per minute you may want to increase your running cadence if it's exactly 170 steps per minute you may want to increase your running cadence if it's above 195 steps per minute you may want to watch my video about potentially counterproductive cadences so now you know whether you need to improve your running cadence or not some of you may already have tried to improve their running cadence and didn't manage this protocol might just be the right thing for you all you'll need is 12 weeks a metronome and some feet. You can download a phone app to tap the beat. Oh, hello? Yep, okay. Cool. I bought a treadmill. I didn't tell my wife I'm gonna pick it up now. So, this is what you're going to do. You're going to dedicate three days a week of cadence training. The first week, you'll dedicate just five minutes every time. You can include that cadence workout into your warm-up, for example. What's important is how you start every cadence workout. First, let's figure out the figures. <laughs> figure out the figures. You're going to increase your running cadence by 7.5%. Why 7.5%? Because scientific research. Set your metronome to your usual running cadence plus 7.5% and start with running on the spot at that cadence. And that's what's important. Don't start running until you're able to catch the cadence on the spot. Once you're confident you're at the correct cadence, then just lean forward from the ankles and let gravity start to push you forward. That angle of your body is what's going to determine your running speed like a segue. It's better to do it when you're a flat surface, not an incline or a decline. You need to understand and feel that your speed does not depend on your running cadence. You can have a speed of zero and a high cadence. You just need to have a stride length of zero meters. The second week, if you feel comfortable running at that higher cadence for five minutes, you increase the workout time by four minutes. Five minutes the first week, extra four minutes the second week. That's nine minutes. And every week after that, you try to increase your cadence workout by four to six minutes. After those 12 weeks of gradually increasing the time of your workout, you should be able to run at least 30 minutes comfortably at that higher cadence. After that, you're pretty much set. Your brain should have integrated already that rhythm into your legs. Let me know how you did. And while you're subscribing and liking that video, I'm gonna play with my new toy. A bientôt.